Hello, beloved. Welcome to your message. I thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining me, okay? Welcome to your message from God, okay? The big God. Let us tap in and see what he wants you to know. But before we proceed, I would like to alert you that I am no longer available for any kind of services, okay? Access denied within that regard. Let's tap in, beloved. Okay, so I am embarking on a journey, embarking on a journey. That's what I'm getting from this already. I am embarking on a journey. So I see that, I see you doing so, beloved. I see that you are embarking on a journey. You are embarking on a journey your journey of life i feel like as you've embarked in your journey of life you've attracted a lot of toxic masculinity toxic masculine energies god talk to my divine feminines in their glory thank you We have the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So this is Pisces, Virgo energy. Okay, there we, oh, there we go. So these energies, I feel, speak of a masculine energy, a divine masculine energy that has withheld himself from you for too long. This is someone who has never expressed their love for you. This is someone who has never told you the truth about how they really truly felt about the connection. Now I feel like this divine masculine energy, it's like I feel that as of lately and recently in their current present time of life, they've been experiencing other feminine energies in forms of entertainment, not anything other than lustful behaviors, sinful acts, and like tr pure tr treachery because it, it was a resultant of the lack of incompetence within this divine masculine to truly come forward in honesty, to truly come forward in truth, to truly come forward in, 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 in the faith of, of your bond and it being something other than what their pessimism was telling them that it was. Pessimistic divine masculine energy who kept talking themselves out of reaching out, out of coming clean, coming clear, speaking their truth about how they truly feel, wanting to truly express, like, there's a divine masculine that has withheld themselves from you for so long that it's like bottling up to the surface right now. Everything is bottling up to the surface. I feel like they're overwhelmed at this time. Like, truly so overwhelmed by this connection and what it's doing internally of them, what it's doing to them. I feel like this masculine, this divine masculine psychosis reeks of your essence, which speaks of your, your glory, your shine your light, your energy. You're in your glory, you're in, you are in, in, in inclination with your spiritual path. Therefore, you are aligning yourself with the higher vibration that is taking you places, wondrous places of life. But 
other people want to follow that might not belong or might have lost a chance to belong. Or people that want to belong in your reality, okay? Take the narrative, how it resonates. Or well, all three resonate, and that's okay. You're vibrating too high, okay, in person. Someone wants you here, like, more than I think you can ever imagine, more than you could imagine. God, talk to us all, please. We have Scorpio energy with the Knights of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles right next to that um, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Taurus energy. We have the Temperance, Sagittarian energy. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and we have the Description card which is the card of the description of the author, I mean, the illustrator of this deck, the creator of it. So basically just a description of a person. We are obviously not discussing this creator of the deck. Take it as an identification of someone, okay? Okay, take a look. A picture even okay and everything about the name of the person everything certain information about them okay in relation to whatever but information on the list about a specific person okay so let's begin information information about you was given out either to this masculine by someone else or they gave information about you to someone else. But regardless, that particular information Play, it's like it's critical. It's not just, it's, it's critical information that it's like, I feel like if, 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 if I could say it for what it is, I feel like it's leaked information. This information with regards to you or about you that was received or given out, either received by the masculine or given out by the masculine, pivotal information, <clears throat> critical and important. It's not just something in the, along the lines of, an example would be your personal details. I feel like this is not that, this is like deeper than that. This is like deeper information that was received or given out here. Take it how it resonates. But nonetheless, though, I feel like this information played a pivotal role in how this um, divine masculine energy portrayed you. Now, nah, someone got a reading done here. I feel like this is what happened. There was an exchange of information between... an unlicensed spiritual practitioner, spiritual teacher, unlicensed meaning unholy, okay? To be licensed is to walk with God. I feel like this person knows nothing about God, even not even close. Their vibration is very low, very self-centered, all about their money, this unlicensed spiritual practitioner that gave this information to this divine masculine. The divine masculine, though, the narrative could be that the, the reading 
Now, the narrative is that they were seeking this information. They were seeking this information about you. It was constantly in their subconscious. Okay, I see what's going on here. I feel like you're dealing with the divine masculine energy that is lacking clarity that they need to move forward. So because they don't have certain information about you and they don't know how to get it, they took the spiritual route. They tried the unorthodox ways. They tried the occultic manners, mannerisms of things. They, they try to tap into your energy like that so that they get a clearer description of your identity so that they know how to move. They know how to approach the matter, the situation, or approach you, okay? God, talk to us all further about this matter, please. Moving forward. Let's move forward. Oops. Okay. Okay, interesting. We have the moon here, which speaks of the um, the unseen. But this is um, emotionally based. This is cancer energy with the moon. And it's emotionally based. Cancer rules tears. Okay. We have the Eight of Cups reversed. We have the Scorpio Taurus polarity. And we have the Seven of Cups Scorpio energy again. Heavy, heavy, heavy Scorpio energy, which says a lot because that permeates um, deep intensity. They don't have to be a Scorpio. They could just possess that type of energy at this time with regards to you in particular, okay? It's just energy. It, it's fluid. So with that being said, I feel like you're dealing with someone who they're so tired of holding themselves back from you and resisting this connection and lying to themselves about it or about how they truly feel. I feel like this person is like they're done with that game. Like they don't want to play it no more. They don't want to. I feel like they feel down and out. None of these things, people, places that they're entertaining are fulfilling them the way that they need. Therefore, they lack some form of happiness within their spirit, constantly living off of short-lived temporary highs, you know, thrilling behaviors that lead to sinful acts, bad deeds. It's like, but it, it leads to nothingness in the end because the sun, the sun will always shine. You know, the moon is not going to be present forever. It's like you're dealing with someone who has a lot of skeletons in their closet. A lot. But I feel like it's in relation to this connection in particular. They want you so bad. So much so that they're willing to like sacrifice something here. This could be a certain connection. An example would be that. Maybe sacrificing a certain connection, okay? But they're willing to drop something here or someone for you. They're willing to do that. But they want you guys to talk about it first. They're willing to do that. But, you know, they're willing to drop it all, walk away, and kind of let loose of all these other behaviors as well. Like... I feel like this this masculine energy is willing to really just drop it all for you. Like, okay, you know what? I'm going to stop this player energy or this, you know, sinful behavior of being. Like, I'll stop. I'll grow up. They, they're willing to grow up and man up, you know, now. For you, though, 
The problem is, I don't know if you're reciprocating this energy or not. Are you? God, talk to us about this matter. Are you reciprocating? I feel like you don't know. Page of Cups. I feel like the Page of Cups speaks of um, oblivion, complete emotional oblivion. Also, it could be psychologically based also, you know? It's like you don't really know how they truly feel. There's You haven't been exposed to that as of yet. You haven't seen nothing yet, okay? There hasn't, he hasn't come forward with that truth in its fullest form yet, yeah, nah. So you don't know. I feel like that's the problem here. They too feel that way. The fact that you don't know, it's becoming a problem now because I feel like they're done with the games. They're done acting. They're done pretending. It's like, can we just, let's do it. Okay, you know what? Let's just do it. I feel like the, 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 the worry here I feel it so strongly. Like they feel like you don't, you won't reciprocate because you tied down <clears throat> to someone else, or you've moved on, or you're withholding yourself from them energetically, spiritually. Okay, spiritually based. Also, they feel like you might have, you know, you cut them off. You know, cut the cord. They feel like there's no access. You, you are going to fight them. You know, not physically. I hope not. But, you know, fight them as in push them away. You're not going to allow them in. This is what they, they fear most. This is what keeps them in this loop of, like, lying to themselves about this matter because they're scared of that rejection. Like, I feel like they fear it. Like, but I feel like it's, it's either they address it or it's, you're going to stay in this Page of Cups energy about this situation because you don't know and you're not going to read his mind. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to do that. He must come forward in honesty and truth. You know, you're not kids with it, right? Page of Cups is young, young-minded, young-hearted, and it's like, grow up, you know? That's the kind of energy. That's what this masculine wants to do. This divine masculine wants to grow up. They feel like you have the capacity and capability to give them a life that they want, like you offer them what they need spiritually based, emotionally based, financially based, physically based. They feel like you fit their criteria of what they feel like their wife should be. How they feel like their wife should be. Back to the this, you know, this it's like they they've they've established you, they've crowned you to to they've crowned you in their heart, you know, as someone very important. You have your name on there, you got the picture girl. You got the description, you got the, you got it. You know what I'm saying? They know what they want from you. They know how they see you and they just want you to know so that they can finally freaking understand so that it's clear or y'all can move forward or they can move on or they can leave you alone. Or it's like, they just confused right now. So the communication of emotional expression that's coming forward is to put you in place with their vibration they want to let you know okay to conclude this would be saying that like they're willing to drop all of these shenanigans the seven of cups behavior is like player energy um someone who has so many options so many things that they participate and do that are just wrong or unhealthy or toxic behaviors um they're just willing to i feel like they're willing to leave it behind like literally i feel like uh some of you might have been dreaming having dreams about this masculine energy or um feeling them you know in the essence feeling them in 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 your energy in your auric field um very deeply or intensely this is because it's like they're coming forward okay they're getting ready. They're preparing the the proposal, the offer, um, the approach, the comeback. Okay, the return. Take it how it resonates. Okay, beloved, that was all. I'm being called to end your message off here. I really hope that this helped you, beloved. 
I'm sending you nothing but love. Until next time, bye.